first thing you want to do is recognize what OS you're using. Uh, you'll see here that uh, XP is a little bit different than the other ones, and Vista and Windows 7 are quite similar to the, each other. Uh, Vista has a little bit of its uh, logo, start menu, button logo, um, popping off the top of the taskbar, but Windows 7 does not. And Windows 8, you will not see a button for the start menu. First way to find out uh, what you're doing is you go here, right click on my computer, or if it's on your desktop, you can right click to properties. And that is the easiest way to get information about your computer. Also, you can go to Control Panel. If you're in Pick a Category, go to Performance and Maintenance, and then hit System. Or, if you're in Classic View, which I prefer, System's right there. On Windows 7, it's basically the same thing as on Windows XP. You can go down here to the Start button, right-click on Computer, and hit Properties. And that comes up. Or, you go to Control Panel, System and Security, and then hit System right here. And those are the two ways to get there on Windows 7. On Windows 8, is even easier than the other ones. You just go over here, go to Settings, and then PC Info, and then your system opens up. Also, you can go over here, Settings, control panel or any other way to get to control panel system and security and system it's very much like Windows 7 and Windows Vista and then the last way is if you open up any folder and then you see computer down here right click on that and hit properties on the Windows Vista uh, 7 and 8 you get a lot more information about your computer in the system information. And uh, sorry we didn't do a video with Windows Vista, but with that information you will be able to find exactly what you need to do. Uh, the easiest way, right clicking on the My Computer sign. Uh, none of the tech ambassadors use Windows Vista anymore, so that is why we are unable to do a video on that. So thank you very much for watching another tech ambassador uh, helpline tutorial.